I'm Chris Rudolph, the uh, head brewer at Penn Brewery. I'm Lauren Hughes, I'm the assistant head brewer at Penn Brewery. that are already in the grain, uh, and then those enzymes are going to convert starches to sugar, uh, which are yeast and can give you alcohol. Um, and then we do a little bit different mash than, than most breweries in town. Uh, we do what's called a decoction mash, uh, and that's when we uh, heat up certain portions of the mash uh, to a certain temperature to get more uh, starch to sugar conversion. And also, uh, like we're doing right now, we'll take a, a section of the mash and actually cook it. And what that's going to do is give you a lot of those uh, wire reactions. Um, like burnt toast, uh, it's going to give you a lot more flavor without adding a lot more body. So for bloggers, it works really well. You still get a crisp, clean beer, but uh, with a lot of flavor to the way that you're doing the mash. Put the, the portion of the mash that I just cooked into the, the main portion of the mash. It's going to bring it up to our mash out temperature. And then the next couple things we'll do is a boil off and then our runoff, where we actually separate the the what we call wort, it's unfermented beer from the grain. This process, uh, so now that we have all the grain in the lauter ton, we uh, do what's called a vorloff. It's a fancy German word for recirculate. So what we're doing is there's underlets underneath this lauter ton. We're just cycling the, uh, the, the wort back on top of the bed. It gives it a nice, kind of weighs the bed down, and that bed acts like a little bit of a filter uh, for when we start sending to the kettle and take all that work from the grain. I started working here actually in 2008 oh. at the bottle shop. Yeah, I started working in the bottle shop. Just helped stacking cases, it was a summer job. And then eventually um, a full-time position opened up. So I said, why not? I got to take the opportunity. So I started uh, learning how to run the bottling line, running the keg machine. Eventually a brew position opened up. So I said, all right, why not? So I started learning how to brew on these very kettles. And did you? I had brewer position opened up and I said I might as well take that. name says it's going to spin that liquid around that's going to condense any of the protein and hot matter that's left over into a nice little cone so that way when I transfer it into the fermenter when I'm done none of that stuff gets through um, and then right next to the the whirlpool is what we have is it's called a plate chiller uh, what that's going to do is help cool down the beer uh, you really want that beer to be cooled fast uh, so that no free bacteria or wild yeast gets in there nothing gets in there uh, it also makes it so the brewer's not standing around all day uh, waiting for <laughs> boiling wort to cool. Uh, so what that guy does is it has a, a water inlet and uh, the water goes on one side of the plates and then the hot beer goes on the other side of the plates. The water is cool, the beer is hot, transfers the heat, and then it gets to the fermenter at the right temperature. 